Hey guys, Warchild V1 here, um, you know, real name's Chris, uh, back with some more of my Bloodborne walkthrough. Oh god, I love this game, I love this game. Alright, so we just got done killing the Bloodstarved Beast, uh, I say it is time to move on to the Cathedral Ward, because we just got done opening up another door. Alright, so, we're at the ward, um... Go ahead and talk to homeboy here. Ah, oh, the hunter. Thank you. So that old girl, you told her about this place, right? Well, she don't offer me much in the way of conversation, but still, I'd rather see her alive anyhow. So after you have uh, told someone about this place, which we did, I believe, in the second video, then um, you go talk to him and you get a new gesture, which is triumph. If you find any sane survivors, well, send them along to Erden Chapel, will ya? <laughs> For sure. Alright. Uh, so let's move on. Last time we went that way to Old Yarnum. This way will take us up to the Grand Cathedral here in a little while. Uh, that's it right there in, it, in all of its glory. And um, for now, we just got done opening a door, which is right here. This door was previously closed, so if you come from the uh, lamp, you just turn to the right, and here it is. And there's an elevator. And if you turn around and start walking this way, you'll step off the ledge, and you are on a rooftop. I found this place on accident um, while just messing around with the game, playing around, and I, I noticed that there was some kind of a window there, and I was thinking, what the hell? Is that a whole nother area I haven't seen? No, not really, but it's a few items. So there's the formless Odin uh, Carol rune, which I'll be able to show you Carol runes a little bit later on, but that one makes it to where you can actually carry up to 24 bullets instead of 20. So it's kind of nice. And um, the Messenger Urn Festival. Uh, basically, they put pots on their heads. Uh, if you if you utilize that, and I'll show you how to do that here later on. You can turn all your little uh, messengers into potheads. Get it? Potheads? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. All right. So let's go take our elevator. I have this habit of jumping back every time I go on an elevator, just so I can send the elevator back. Makes it easier for if you die. All right, when you step into this room, run. Oh, well, I've already triggered him, haven't I? <laughs> I was going to say run and watch out for this homeboy. He is a bastard. But at least he had some bullets for me. Here is a another carol rune, which is communion. This, I believe, makes it to where you can carry one more blood vial. So you can carry 21 blood vials instead of 20. Sorry, I'm just checking out the weapons. There's uh, saw cleavers hanging up there, and I see the a part of a burial blade up there. I've actually built these weapons in real life. Uh, not out of metal, though. They're not really weapons, but they look just like them, in my opinion. And I have them hanging on the wall behind me. I'll have to make a video on that and kind of show it off. I'm pretty proud of them. So, we really don't need to go inside here yet, but I'm going to. Because uh, one weapon that I would really like to get for this playthrough is in there. It's, it's a weapon that a lot of people use. I don't, though, is the thing. And I kind of want to. <laughs> so, in order to get it, you do have to go in here. That's about all you can do in here until later on. beast um, there is a chest right here don't miss it don't miss it because that is another blood tinge gemstone in fact uh, we need to go add these we need to check out our gemstones and maybe add more as soon as you get up here run over here because you got another gatling gun dude and he does not mind if you are fighting someone else he will still shoot you FYI. 
I'm gonna press up on the D-pad. Gives me five more blood bullets, and then I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Technically, you can press up on the D-pad and go hit an enemy and get your life back. But that's not how I just did it, so... I guess do as I say, not as I do. Kind of aim him towards the wall there. I don't want him to fall. <gasps> well, I was being nice, buddy. I didn't want you to fall. He doesn't care if I fall, though, does he? And that is the reason that I always send an elevator back. If I die again, which I don't expect that I will, but if I do, then I will uh, go ahead and just skip my run back. But you want to run straight past, like so. And this will give us more Quicksilver bullets, which I don't have too many of anyways. It's actually kind of pushing it, the fact that I'm doing this again. I could just run up there and grab the items that I want, but at the same time, I don't really want to just run up there. basically back to where I was just at. Plus I have more uh, Quicksilver bullets now than I did. Alright, you want to run straight over here because of the Gatling gun. And more Quicksilver bullets. And this dude has my blood echoes. Look at him, his eyeballs are glowing. I can't believe that I'm sucking this bad. Oh my god. I suck, don't I? Alright. Well, third time's a charm, maybe? I can't believe what I did. I almost just got myself killed again. Alright. I'm gonna play it safe because I have just... I can't believe that I died. So in case you're wondering, this time the guy that had my echo since I died in this room was uh, the wheelchair guy in the corner here. This guy had my echoes when I came back in here the third time. All right, big cold blood. So now we go up a ladder. And around this way is more thick cold blood six, which means uh, it gives you a lot more blood echoes than the cheaper cold bloods. Watch out for this guy, he's got fire. And those are not the only two. Um, Cause there's this guy, he also has fire. All right, and that's gonna be all the enemies that are gonna jack with you here. Um, only reason I came up here was to pick this up. The Radiant Sword Hunter Bad. With that, I'll be able to get my main weapon of the game, which is the uh, Ludwig's Holy Blade, is what it's called. Um, basically, a long sword that converts to a great sword. Quite cool. I don't believe there's anything over this way besides a message that says the sky and the cosmos are one. Quote the choir. Alright, so now we're just going to make our way back down. I 
There's just people playing this game left and right. Alright, so this is the way that we came in. I believe if you run to the left, then there is a wandering madness. Yep, he's right here. And you do want to kill him because this is your first twin bloodstone shards. Which, uh, twin bloodstone shards are required for, uh, weapon ascension. Going from a plus three to a plus four takes three of them. Then five. Then eight. To get to a five and a six. Alright, so we have a couple choices here. One is we can go to the abandoned workshop. Which is, a uh, little doorway right down here, uh... These ropes kind of lead to it. To get there, the easiest route, I believe, is to stand right here and walk towards these ropes. Um, I guess let's just go ahead and do it. You'll land here, and then one straight drop down to here. Um, if you're a little bit off, you will die. I don't even know why I just healed. Uh, really no need. in old workshop so this is the real life place that the hunter's dream um comes from you know because when you when you're in the dream you're in the dream so this is the actual location doesn't have all the gravestones here or anything like that um we're in the hunter's dream or we're in the abandoned workshop there's the full doll set yay we can dress up like a doll I think it would be pretty cool to have some PvP battles here. Old Hunter Bone, which, um, Old Hunter Bone is really useful for if you are, uh, making a build that uses a little bit of arcane. Uh, let's see how much arcane it requires. 15 arcane. If you use that, you can roll quicker and dodge quicker, and it makes you invisible while you do it. So it's quite, quite cool. I think you get more, uh, iframes. One third of umbilical cord. Let's go ahead and light this lamp. And if you're wondering what iframes are, uh, I'm guessing most of you already know, but in case you don't, anytime you perform a dodge, like a roll, there's a certain part of that roll where you have a certain amount uh, of invincibility frames. Makes it to where you can roll through an attack while you're rolling. You have a certain amount of frames that nothing can hit you. So that's what an iframe is. And using that old hunter's bone, you get more iframes. All right, so here's the the doll. What? How are people dying here? Huh? I know how he died. He had the Chicago. The Chicago drains your life when you put blood on the blade. All right, return to the hunter's dream. Yeah. I really think it's the only way back here. Let's see if there's any drops that we can make to get back. I don't believe so. That was kind of creepy. That guy just standing there like that. Oh wow, we can drop down from here. We're good. We're good. Alright, you hear that beast? That is a Lawrence... No, it's not a silver beast. Uh, I can't remember what he's actually called. You get the name while you're in Chalice Dungeons. Um, either way, if you make your other drops, you'll end up dropping down to here. Shit, I actually want to show you. Let's reawaken. All right, so we just kind of went back to the hunter's dream and then back to here again, just so I can show you my way of dropping down um, because I've seen other videos on how to do it and I do it differently, so I just wanted to show you guys. And this time we don't have to go through all the mess anymore. We actually don't even have to fight anything. Check this out. You can just kind of run. They don't really follow you very far here. Alright, so we're safe. 
that easy. So if you die a couple times trying to make these drops, there's one way to make it. Alright, so you cross this, drop down to here, drop down to here, and follow this board across. Just to pick up this item is all, really. Messenger top hat. Alright. So you can drop down. And here's where my first time it seemed kind of tricky. If you look down here, there's a ledge. Right here, just walk slowly. And you'll land on the ledge. And from here, it's actually kind of hard to see where you need to go. Um, what I do is different from most people. I literally just roll straight forward. So, roll. Don't jump, just roll. And I always land on this, so rolling straight forward from that is my way. I'm sure a lot of other people do that too, but no one that I've seen on a video goes that same route. Alright, so we make our drops down. If you land up here on this pile of rubble, then you'll get this uh, beast's attention. Um, he's the beast, or beast possessed something, or... Possessed beast something, or I don't remember exactly. But I'm gonna go for a backstab. Kinda cheaply kill him here. My weapon does hurt beasts a little more though. And you get the beast carol rune, which we're gonna go through all the carol runes a little bit later. Uh, once we're able to use them. But the beast carol rune, uh, temporary boost to transform. I will have to explain that a little bit later on. <laughs> so again, there's... There's incense burning outside the door, which prevents beasts from going in there and jacking with them. Um, all the people that are staying inside for the hunt that don't want to be out in the hunt just burn their incense and that kind of wards off the beasts. So we got a rumpled Yarnum hat and sweaty clothes. They're actually pretty crappy. Uh, and right up here's a dog. I'm gonna get the dog's attention. All right. So this this type of enemy is called a snatcher, and he actually has some twin bloodstone shards on him. So we're gonna kill him for those. So I'm gonna go ahead and just backstab. You can land a couple backstabs on him and that'll easily kill him. Or visceral attacks, that is. There we go. You can you can like come back here multiple times and farm him to get up to a plus six weapon if you want. He actually did not drop the flint twin bloodstone shards, which is surprising. Because that's what he usually drops. So these guys, if you notice, uh, their faces, they're kind of turning into beasts around here. And they probably just don't even know it. So right up here we got a couple more. I hate the pitchfork guys, really. I mean, they're not that bad or anything, I just don't like them at all. Alright. Um, right up here is... This is a brain sucker down here. You gotta really watch out for brain suckers. Um, but there's also a useful gemstone down here also that it's just kind of staring at. Um, brain suckers are susceptible to uh, thrust attacks. Thrust attacks seem to do more damage than anything. And if you add elemental to your weapon, you're even more set. So we're good. Oh! I was about to say, did I actually kill it with one attack? No, I didn't. I'm getting my brain sucked. Alright, anytime you get grabbed by any enemy, start tapping L1 and R1 as fast as you can, and they'll usually land a little less damage on you. Um, you'll get out a little faster. But I have a feeling that I'm gonna die here. Wow. I thought that I killed it on that first attack. That's the only reason that, that it even got to grab me. 
Because I really thought I killed it on that first attack. Alright. So we just picked up a really nice gemstone. Um, a fire gemstone. This adds fire to your weapon as well as your life will slowly uh, regenerate. And it is a waning shape, which is more like a crescent moon. Um, they have different shapes. There's circles right here. Circles go in guns. Radials go in some weapons. Waning go in some weapons. I mean, there's just different shapes. There's triangle ones. I can't remember what they're called, but we'll see when we get them. Either way, that's everything in this little area. So we're going to go ahead and take this elevator up, which takes us right back to just Cathedral Ward. Uh, just a different part of it. This opens us up so we can get to the next few areas. Super useful stuff. So, you're going to drop down and you want to pull this lever. Very important to pull this lever. That opens up the gate so you can actually come through here from the Cathedral Ward uh, checkpoint lamp. Um, go up this ladder. Definitely an item that you're most likely going to need at the one of the next boss fights. I'm not going to go fight this boss next. We're actually going to skip and go to a different area first. Just so we can start using uh, Carol runes. A Carol rune, you know, that's the items that we've been picking up that, you know, you can carry 24 bullets or 21 or 22 blood vials, stuff like that. A Carol rune is basically like what a ring does on previous on actual Souls games, there's rings for that. Oh, another thing I may want to note. Let's take care of this enemy real quick and I'll note. Um, after... After you've killed the Bloodstar Beast, then more of these Snatchers start showing up. Hold on, I'll show you in a second. I don't want to die to anyone. I don't mind dying to a Snatcher. We're actually right about to. He's on his way. There he is. Um, this Snatcher shows up over here after you uh, fight the Bloodstarved Beast. Before that, it's just a couple birds over here. Let's go ahead. Uh, I want him to kill me. They call him a Snatcher because of their bag. They kill you, and they snatch you up. Just once, and it's after, like I said, after you kill the Bloodstar Beast. A pretty creepy way to wake up, isn't it? So that guy just kind of snatches you up and brings you here to Yahargul Unseen Village, or Yarhagul. I'm just going to call it Yarhagul because I think that's what it's called. Alright, so there's a number of things that, that you know you would want to come here for. This is actually a place that you come later on in the game, but if you come now, then... Uh, it's earlier in the night instead of it being late. Oh, merciful God, to help me. In the name of the healing church, cleanse us of this horrible dream. <laughs> yeah, if you come here later on, then it's later in the night and and everything is different. It's actually way harder. So before we go talk to this girl, we want to wear church garb, basically. Um... Gascoigne's garb counts as church garb. Uh, it's garb of the church. So, um, you want to go talk to this girl. Oh, by your garb, the healing church. You've got to save me. Oh, thank you, dear saint. I have no words to express my relief. You can take this at least. Sure to please an upstanding member of the church like you. 
Oh, thank you so much. Dear God. Thank you so much. I was seized on the street by the hulking brute in the cathedral ward and locked up here. Me too. There were many others, but they've been taken away. And I've heard moans echoing in the distance ever since. So, the hunt is on tonight. Then the streets are perilous, and every door will be shut tight. Yep. Perhaps it isn't my place to ask, but do you know somewhere that might take me in? Yes. Um, I highly recommend that you send her to the chapel. Oh, thank you so much. I'll set out as soon as I can. I pray for success on your hunt. Thank you. Kind hunter. And I'll show you why I recommend that here in a little while. Alright. So as I was saying, um... Later on when you come to this level, it's way harder. It's, it's later in the night, and it just gets harder and harder. So right now, it's actually not very easy or anything. This is actually probably the hardest level you'll be in this early in the game, but definitely easier than it will be later. Somewhere is a wandering madness. That's what I'm... All right. Well, either way, here's our lamp checkpoint. Um, you may not want to engage in this man. You can if you want. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. The moon rune. And right around this corner is a witch. I think that's what she is. Watch out for her. She will try to rip your eyeballs out like no shit. <laughs> she will try to rip out your eyeballs. So I'm going to do a couple things while we're here. Thing number one... If you run back down this hallway, there is a Wandering Madness right here. There we go. With twin Bloodstone Shards, very useful. I can now upgrade my weapon again. And... This door, it's its kind of useful later on if you open this up now. Because later on when you come to this level and it's later in the night, you come through this door, this is no longer a checkpoint, and you have three hunters down here that want to kill you. So it's quite a lot easier just to do it this way. So there are some good items to be had here. You gotta watch out for these guys. These big old pigs. They're pretty mean here. It's a lot easier to just try to land a couple of just some real attacks on their butt. If you can. Um, they can be pretty damaging, so watch out. Right up here to the left, we have some more um, blood echoes. Frenzied Cold Blood 8. That's a decent amount of echoes. I don't remember how many. Um, and there is quite useless right now. Later on will be useful. Right down here is another Piggy Piggy. And uh, I say let's go kill this Piggy Piggy. And yes, I did lose 7,000 Blood Echoes uh, by getting killed before I came here. We'll see. If I can survive through all this, I can go get him back. I don't know if I can, though. We'll see. Basically, if I don't get killed while I'm here, I can get him back. Um, I'll try not to. You know. I never really try to get killed. Technically, I did try to get killed, I guess you could say. But there's some more bolt paper. Usually, that would be the first bolt paper that you pick up. But, um... Currently, there's, you know, I already picked some up on accident by killing a Snatcher earlier. Alright. So, right over here are a ton of dogs. 
be really careful. Dogs can murder. But there's goodies over there, too. There's a weapon over there that's really nice. Oh, shit. I'm trying to do a transform attack, not just a transform. dog. Like I said, there's a lot of them here, so just be careful. Go ahead and heal up just in case. Come at me, bro. So that's the biggest part of the dogs. Um, there's two more dogs up here and another snatcher. There, the dogs are gone. The snatcher, you can either kill him or just... Uh, if you get behind him whenever he's doing this charge, then you can land a nice back stab this real. Or two. You really didn't even have to kill him. We could have just ran up here, grabbed this, and ran away. This is a weapon called the Teniatris. Um, it is a mace type weapon that looks like it was made by Tesla. Because when instead of having a transform, it just shoots up with electricity. So anytime you're fighting uh, enemies that are susceptible to lightning damage, then this is a good one to have. I don't believe I'm going to use it, though. Um, it's really useful against, like... Uh, there's a boss later on. Instead of spoiling it, I'll just tell you when we get there, I guess. And here is... The black hooded iron helm and the Yahargol Yah, <laughs> yeah Yahargol uh, set. Some of the strongest uh, garb in the game, I guess you would say. And there's three items over there. Those are all just um, what are they? Um, Madman's knowledge. Nothing that we need right now. In fact, later on when we come through here, it'll be easier to pick them up than it is right now. Alright, here's the last thing that I'm doing while I'm in this level. Go down here, get the dog's attention. That way I can fight them separate from this, this snatcher. Oh my god! Well, uh, that does not... That was completely unexpected. Alright, well I lost my 7,000 from earlier. I'm not that worried about it though. I've uh, I've lost way more than that in this game. I think the most I've ever lost at once was 350,000 blood echoes, something like that. So I have lost a lot more before. All right, what I'm gonna do right now, since I just died and I just reloaded the level, I'm gonna wait for this snatcher to walk out there a ways, because on these circular stairs is another wandering madness you know the little guys that drop uh upgrades they should be right here yep so three more so i currently have nine twin bloodstone shards useful stuff all right let's go see if i can pick up my stuff yeah, watch out for them, dude. They can they can get you even when you're running. Oh shit. Uh not good. Not good at all. In fact, I think I just died. Yeah. I just died. Alright. Let's do this again. All I'm trying to do is go open a damn door that is not even necessary to open. We could just run past all these bastards, because I already lost all my blood echoes. 
Yeah, let's kill the witch because I know that she's going to follow me. Well, maybe not. I thought she would. Kind of embarrassing dying that easy. But whatever, you know, this is Bloodborne. It is not supposed to be an easy game. It is meant to be a difficult game. And I wouldn't even say it's meant to be difficult. It's meant to be challenging. Yeah, I guess it's meant to be difficult. Let him charge. Oh, that's not the charge. Either way, he's dead since he let me behind him. If you get behind these guys, they're just so screwed. It's not the same for just any enemy, either. But those guys, yes. They're just screwed if you get behind them. And this isn't even anything that's very useful right now. Another twin bloodstone shard, though. And... More frenzied cold blood. And this is just something that will be a shortcut later on. And a couple witches. Um, there's actually a couple more of the a couple more of the snatchers in here. It's not that bad if you can lure them out one at a time. We'll just kind of look at them. They're in that room. Um, right now, there's a boss if you go that way, and yeah. It's nothing that we need to jack with right now, though, is all. So, let's go ahead and get back out of here and go handle up on what we were handling up on before coming here. Which is, uh, we're handling up on getting to the next area. That's just everything you need here, I believe. All right, we're back in the hunter's dream and moving on back to the cathedral ward. All right. So now that we've done all that fun jazz, um, we opened up this gate up here earlier as part of what we did. We're going to utilize this gate. Uh, this is a wooden shield, by the way. If you go up these stairs, then uh, there's another thick old blood. And six more blood vials. Watch out for this big homeboy. Homeboy of the church. Come up here and turn left. We're just going to the next uh, area that I plan on going to, really. Bloodshot Eyeballs. That is a uh, Chalice Dungeon item. Three more Bold Hunter's Marks. And a dog. These dogs look a little different, but they really act about the same. They got these spikes in them and stuff. So I always go to the left. It's a lot easier than going to the right. I promise. Yeah, so I always go to the left because of that. Stone shard, quick silver bullets. Over to the right, there's a lot more enemies, and that's why I go this way. Alright, there's this guy and his two puppies. And that is also an easy way to die in case you need to die. Uh, <laughs> in case you need to die, right? All right, Quicksilvers. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. 
And then I'll go show you the rest of what is back there. Not up my nose or anything, but, you know, the stuff that we just missed that was off to the right. We are in Hemwick Charnell Lane. With a bunch of crazy witches that are just kind of dancing around down there. I think they're witches. Either way, though, let's go back and uh, move off to the opposite side now. All the stuff that we just missed. But uh, just to get back there to that lamp, it is a lot easier to stay off on this side. Which was the left, is now the right, because we're going the opposite way. There are lots of enemies, so be really careful around here. Take your time, look around. Alright. Some pebbles, some more bullets. Right up there is a group of guys. That's like really probably the worst part of this. Um, quick silver bullets. If you happen to have any uh, bone marrow ash, this is one good place that it's quite useful. If you just pack it in your pistol and fire your gun. Wrong button. Uh, if you're actually close enough then it deals good damage. And then you can actually take some of the guys out without getting too close. It just sucks that I have to get that close to actually hit them. Alright, there's two guys left. Let's go ahead and hit one real quick. And then, oh, well... If they both hit you at the same time, you're probably in trouble. So you don't want that. Quick silvers, quick silvers. Of course, any guys with guns drop quick silver. Some more bone marrow ash in case you just used it all. Some thick cold blood, more thick cold blood. You're not missing much if you skip killing these guys, but I just figured with it being a walkthrough, I'll show you. Uh, I usually actually just skip those guys. Yeah, this whole area is cleared out now. There's no more enemies to worry about. You can run around like a wild ninny or whatever you want to do at this point. I'm a wild ninny! Alright. Stop playing around. Stop playing around. This is a serious walkthrough. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so, like I said, we've made it to the Hemwick Charnel Lane, which is this area. Let's go back to the Hunter's Dream. All right, so we are here, and let's go ahead and purchase, I probably don't have enough echoes for it yet, but whenever we picked up that, uh, what was it called, the Radiant Sword Hunter Badge, that unlocked a weapon here in the store, which is right here, Ludwig's Holy Blade. It requires 20,000 echoes to purchase. And I'm willing to bet that I have 20,000 if we burst some of these frenzied cold blood stuff of that sort. So let's uh, see how many echoes we have and see if I can go ahead and pick that weapon up. I, I don't see why I couldn't. There we go. We can buy it and then level it up. Purchase items. Ludwig's Holy Blade. 20,000 echoes. Done. Um... It requires 16 strength and 12 uh, skill, which I actually don't even think I have 16 yet. I do, I do. I have, uh, what do I have? I have exactly 16. Here we go. And uh, it is a good uh, quality weapon, which means it requires strength and skill to uh, to make it a stronger weapon. Let's fortify it. I'm going to go ahead and pump uh, twin bloodstone shards into it also. There we go. 
So it is a plus five. We need six more twin bloodstone shards to make it any stronger. I'm going to take the stuff that I have off of my saw spear. And let's see if we can make this weapon a little stronger. 52. All right. So I got physical attack up plus 2.7 and plus 2.1. Um, let's go ahead and put just something back on these. Yeah, that's weak. And since I have not leveled up my my gun yet, let's go ahead and do that. There. Now I can actually put a blood gem on my pistol. This adds 12.6 more damage. Um, this, I mean, the gun doesn't deal a lot of damage anyways, but what could it hurt to, to add to it, right? All right. Sorry, sorry. He'll he'll come back. I mean, if you hit him, he comes back. It's no big deal. Same for if you accidentally kill her, she comes back. But check this out. So, you know, we went to the old abandoned workshop. We picked up this hair ornament. Welcome home, good hunt. What is it you... So now you have another choice. Give small hair ornament. Let's do this. What? What is this? I can't remember. Not a thing, only I feel. A yearning, something I never felt before. What's happening to me? <gasps> Tell me, Hunter. Could this be joy? Ah. <sighs> Alright, so she just gave us a tear stone. Welcome home. What is it? Farewell, good hunt. So this tear stone shows up in your items here, right there, and you can use it, and it gives you a tear blood gem. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put this on my pistol instead. This makes it to where your HP continuously recovers, plus two. Now, I mean, that's not much. That's actually super slow, but... Uh, you know, you have continuous HP regeneration this way, and, uh, not a lot of it, but you have some of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. In the next video, we're gonna push on. We, uh, Him Himwick Charnel Lane, we actually just opened up this headstone. So that's pretty cool. And when we went to that jail, uh, the hy Hypogean Goal, uh, from getting killed by the Snatcher, that opened up this one. Um, and the Abandoned Old Workshop is there as well. So, all right, guys, that's all for this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying the walkthrough. I hope it is actually helping somebody. And uh, on the next video, we're going to push on. So please comment, like, and sub if you haven't. And I will see you guys on the next video. So thanks for watching.